very urgent that we meet. We will appear tomorrow at Operation Skyhook when your son is exactly over your We hear you, Dr. Marvin, and we understand you. Do you understand us? Listen, it is now 9.30 a.m. Earth time, Greenwich Meridian time. We will be waiting at exactly 11 a.m. at the shore of the Chesapeake Bay where the North Beach Road reaches the sea. Do not raise an alarm and keep this appointment. Please come in. With your friends, Dr. Marvin. Please come in, all of you. You are many miles away from your planets, but not in a matter of seconds. Listen to your watch, Dr. Marvin. We generate a magnetic field stronger than the gravitational field on your Earth. This is the principle by which we move through space. We have adjusted the magnetic field to compensate for the normal loss of gravitational effect and atmospheric pressure. But your watch hasn't stopped. Feel your pulse. We operate in a very different time reference. You might say all this is happening between the ticks of your watch or the beats of your heart. It made it necessary for us to defend ourselves at Skyhook. At that time, we had no way of knowing they were only primitive observation posts. We thought they might be weapons directed against us. Because of your leadership in exploring the field of outer space, we felt you could best understand that we are the survivors of a disintegrated solar system. At this moment, the remainder of our fleet is circling your globe. They are awaiting a signal to tell them where to land. Arrange for your world leaders to confer with us in the city of Washington. We will show you how important it is to convince your leaders. In an instant of your time, we travel from beyond your moon to the surface of your Earth. Speed, maneuverability, and force. To do that would cause worldwide panic. Despite our power, the few of us would be busy indefinitely trying to suppress a large hostile population. In the end, we would be masters of a wrecked and hungry planet. We felt it would be best to meet with you so fighting could be avoided. Such agreements have been made on Earth before. We have the means of accumulating information. If you wish to convince yourself about our detailed knowledge, test us. Any question? You have been addressing General Henley's mind, not General Henley. Look behind you. He will not recognize you. He has been subjected to a machine we call an infinitely indexed memory bank. We have transferred all knowledge from his brain to our machine. Thus, we have available and readily accessible his total experience. We can do this to as many as we like and learn whatever we must know. This is the beginning of the process by which we read the brain for the infinitely indexed memory bank. We will return him to you eventually, and the police officer too. Will you arrange a conference for us? You will have two of your lunar days, or 56 days Earth time. When you tell of the destroyer being sunk, refer to latitude 30 degrees 20 minutes, 
longitude forty five degrees fifteen minutes they will believe you